user can add text or an arrow to label the area of concern. To demonstrate that, we have already selected through the Alt key an area in the upper maxilla, and we've included for the axial, coronal, and sagittal planes. However, one may just wish to add simply an arrow. Now, we could double click in the 3D image, and to add an arrow, we can right click on the mouse. And about a third of the way down, you see a function for add arrow label. Once you left click it, the caliper becomes the point of the head. So left click it, drag it, release it to an area that's up and away so when you write, it doesn't come across on any um, of the anatomy you wish to, to look at, okay? So, um, you know, here you can say um, whatever you uh, wish to say, okay? So uh, we'll just call this a retained tooth and press the enter key here or the enter key on the keyboard and then you have an arrow. Now, you can add a second arrow again just by clicking the uh, right click of the mouse add another arrow if you wish and you can point in. Now if you have a, a particular uh, word that you want to just reselect click it and click the enter key. Now to delete you can right click it and you can go down to um, delete. If you want to right click as well you can uh, edit text. First of all when you right click it notice the two white boxes. You can click on either of the boxes and change your angle of uh, orientation on the arrow itself. See, So you have that op option to do that. You can right click it, you can uh, edit text and font color if you wish. Uh, we could add, uh, make, make the um, text bigger, we can increase it to bold let's say, we can uh, change the color uh, by clicking down the color scheme. Let's make it red and um, then we uh, can just say OK. So we made this a lot larger as well. So uh, that's the ability to uh, add arrow label. Another way to add annotation or just text is to simply press the letter key on the keyboard. And once you do that, you can, uh, you can um, click in the field and then you can uh, write in here uh, whatever you wish. Um, you can s simply type it in the field here again or if you just want to say retained, whatever we have here, you can simply uh, click it in so you can Again, you can uh, move this if you wish, or you can uh, edit as we had shown previously. Now, uh, what you can also do, when you click the term itself, you have an ability to edit. So here when you click the edit icon, you can uh, pick on an area, maybe you want to delete that. Or you can add in your favorite ones that you wish, and you can have, a, have your list, and you can just, instead of typing in, you can just simply click it, and it'll be uh, activated to the screen. Another feature you can is to move the mount, the arrow itself, click on it, and you can just kind of move the arrow around if you want to use it as a pointer. So you have the ability as well to, to um, move it around as a pointer. So whether you put it in the 3D image or the CT, you have the ability to add arrows and text, uh, either, either with the um, uh, right click and add arrow label, or you can simply press the T on the keyboard and uh, you can uh, write in the uh, text uh, as we demonstrated and uh, in that case uh, you have the ability to, to do all that. If you want to later save it to capture it, uh, and we'll talk about this in another section, uh, you can uh, right click it and say capture. Uh, if you hit capture it will capture just the one screen or if you want to capture all views it will capture everything on the screen. Um, the other quick way of doing that is uh, you can pick the screen you wish and uh, you can type the letter C on the keyboard and as long as you're in that active screen that has the red frame around it you can simply press the letter C once and it'll go to the output panel and uh, in the output panel you have your uh, images that you have captured and saved. And you can do things like print them and save, send to DICOM, email, etc. And once you're finished with the output panel, you can go back to the review tab, you can go back to reset, and reset even takes your arrows and texts out as well. So it's a nice feature to use. And that should conclude our little section here on annotation and adding labels and arrows.